And welcome back to the interview area as Fnatic leave to see another day and with that victory eliminates C9 from the competition. But let's focus on the winners here. I'm joined by Razork. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. You can breathe now. It's been a difficult one and you were actually 0 and 1 in this elimination game, which is really hard. So I just want to know some specifics about the way you shifted things around and turned things around between game one and game two. What happened backstage? What was the kind of talk that you guys gave each other? Well, I mean, I think the game one, basically, we just ran it down completely early game. I think the top matchup, it's like very snowball and Rumble got like few kills, so Oscar couldn't breathe. And yeah, I mean, we just said it's best of three guys. We have been in this situation uh, a lot of times uh, during this uh, season, so we just refocus, try to another another mm -hmm. draft, and just go with better mindset, and yeah, we end up winning. Do you feel like you guys thrive in situations like this when you know that it is the last time, it is the last chance, so otherwise just go home? Yeah, I mean, for sure, I feel like players like Humana than me, we play better when we are with the back against the wall because. It feels like, okay, we have nothing to lose, right? We just try our best and see what happens. And yeah, I feel like humanity and me, we have no regrets in that sense. So we just play to win and mm -hmm. if we win, it's it's good, you know? I feel like it's interesting because as you said, you have experience, but you have a bunch of players who are new. I'm thinking about Noah, Oscar Rinin, for instance. And Noah, it feels like has an extra pressure, especially because he's playing at home here, this first time at Worlds. Any guidance that you guys have been able to help him? Well, I think the, the coach and staff is trying to help him a lot. Uh, I think he's like very shy or like he doesn't like to talk that much in in, uh, in official game and in scrims. It's just a bit hard. But I mean, today he has his parents watching him. So I think he was like, like extra pressure more than usual. And after the first game, probably he felt like he couldn't do much with the Ezreal pick, which uh, I think he couldn't do much too. And uh, yeah, I think we are trying to all support him, to bring him and make him feel like we are all together and it doesn't matter if someone makes a mm -hmm. mistake, like we try to like be a team. See, you mentioned the Ezreal pick and I feel like I have to ask because it's been one of the biggest memes since the beginning of Worlds. How would you rate the champion? I mean, I don't want Ezreal in my team ever. <laughs> I feel like this champ, it's really hard to execute in one team fight. If you miss a Q, you actually can't Deal damage and he can't really kill front line, so I think you have to play really good against, uh, with the champ. Yeah, and I mean, right now it's pretty clear that we are not the best team, we are not playing pretty good. These games were a little bit like messy, and the quality was very poor, just a lot of fighting. And yeah, I think Ezreal is not the champ for that. For I sure, I think all, all the teams agree on the fact that Ezreal doesn't work right now. Shox was saying on the desk that there's a lot of takeaways to get from a series like this because there's been so much back and forth, and you're learn so much about yourself as a team. Ezreal was maybe one of them, but what else did you learn from this series that's going to help you guys moving forward? Well, I mean, personally, I am happy that I actually played Jarvan because it's a champion that I've been struggling a lot for, like, in my entire career. And yeah, it's a champion that I, whenever I pick it, I die like 20 times. In these games, like, you could actually see some flashbacks from me running it down and going in alone and mm -hmm. just dying. But overall, I think, like, I played fine Jarvan game, so I'm like, it's a good takeaway for me that I can play another champion All right. uh, in my champion pool. And the listing game was just really tragic, but at least it's still nice, you know, so it's worth. It's worth. We'll note this one. Also, thank you so much. Good luck on thank the you. next games, of course, and we'll see you later in the week.